Well, all right. How are you guys doing today? I think we're going to go ahead and check out Amphora, which is a Gemini client. And if you're watching this video, there's a decent chance you might not know what Amphora is or Gemini for that matter. So the Gemini protocol is an alternative to the web and Gopher. Uh, no one really uses Gopher anymore, so it doesn't really matter. But um, Gopher was originally competing with HTTP, which is what everyone now knows is just the web and the internet. And Gopher was just text. It was a little, in, uh, not a little, it was insecure. And uh, HTTP provided more features and it just, well, I don't really know that it provided more features, but it just ended up winning out and it became pretty much the standard the go to for the web and now that might not be the same forever but really in all honesty gemini is not trying to replace the web or anything it's trying to be a middle ground uh a reasonable middle ground between gopher and the web so on gemini here if i was to have a picture or something it, it wouldn't show up it's it is just text and the way you format you know your um your websites is with a very simple it's it, it's a dot gmi file and it uses formatting that is extremely similar to that of markdown it's very simplified um if you go to my gemini capsule which is on my GitLab, uh which that link will be down in the description then you can actually see i've got one um file in there that's i think it's called format.gmi and it's where my you know main index is uh, and if you click on that it's actually got uh the formatting for gemini actually put in there and laid out very simply um, so you can go and look at that if you need to or want to um, but the gemini protocol it's extremely easy to set up uh, your own uh, gemini capsule which is what a website is called over on gemini and when you're referring to gemini as like kind of a hole and all the capsules in there that's what people call the gemini space um, like like the internet is now pretty much everything http which is not accurate but you know you get you get the point um so gemini is it is very nice uh a couple years ago me hex dsl distro tube a whole bunch of people got into gemini and uh most of those capsules are gone not maintained um i definitely let mine go and didn't maintain it and let it go down um but I think there's a good reason for that and I'm trying to solve it. And hopefully you guys will help me in this effort. We all quit using Gemini because we were all doing the same thing with it. We were doing stuff like, excuse me, got to hit the vape, uh, micro blogging and, you know, blogging, just, just kind of journaling, which I actually do ironically have a journal on my Gemini page still uh, that I'm, I'm doing so it's not like you can't do that but that's all really people were using Gemini for and so it's neat and cool to go on here and see what other people are doing like I've got you know in my bookmarks now um, I obviously don't save a lot of Gemini capsules in my bookmarks but um, this guy's uh, I read a couple of his stuff um, he's got like some recipes and stuff in here uh, that you can go check out um pretty cool but anyway uh when it comes to when it comes to jim and i that we need more very valuable stuff that you're gonna like very valuable information how-to guides tutorials and documentation that you would find over on the web over here and even though it's super simple to set up something and like proxy over information and duplicate it over to Gemini, a lot of people aren't doing it. A lot of groups aren't doing it. Developers aren't doing it. So if you want to go out there and do it yourself, uh, because those developers might not ever 
put their stuff over on their own Gemini capsule with a proper URL, put it over here yourself. And just so you know, I'm actually doing some work too. Over here on my Gemini capsule, I'm putting up little articles like these um, over here, just kind of giving information and showing stuff about how I've uh, figured out information and it's from resources like Reddit and stuff. I also have the Gen 2 handbook that I'm working on copying over. So that's a big, massive resource. And of course, the dogs are going to go crazy. Um, that's awesome. But yeah, shush. Sorry. The dogs want to go crazy because my mom's here. But yeah, so these are fantastic resources. And I think I've also like hit the desk. So my monitor's gone all wacky and crazy. But yeah, any who's when it comes to Gemini, it is really, really nice. Uh, I, I think I said Gen 2, but I meant Gemini. It is really, really nice, but we need more resources like this. And so I'm trying to help out. And hopefully Gemini can become more of a usable thing because I think, for one, browsing web pages like this, especially searching for this kind of stuff like documentation and um, you know how to do something um, or fix a little problem is definitely better on Gemini and it's also better for people on poor connections because you don't have to load tons of fucking ads for for everything so yeah that's the thing so please make a Gemini capsule yourself. Um, I'll link in the description a video by HexDSL. Uh, it's a fantastic video. Um, he talks about, you know, how to set it up and everything. And it's actually done by his friend, but it's a great video. I'll, I'll link it to uh, link to it. If you want to make your own Gemini capsule, let me know what you think of Gemini in the comments. And yes, I know it's not going to take over. It's not going to beat the web. And that's really not the point the point is just to make it um viable for daily use in trying to find information and i think for that it's definitely doable um jim and i has a lot of a lot of great stuff uh when it comes to amphora the browser i'm using uh, i can do a video showing off that um you will need a dedicated browser for jim and i uh, or I think there are some extensions for regular browsers, but you can use stuff like Amphora here. This is what I use. It's a terminal-based browser. You can get graphical ones that look more like Firefox or whatever. Uh, there's Lagrange, Crystal, a whole bunch. So uh, go out there, check them out. You can write a browser for Gemini in like 100 lines of code, which is the way you know the internet should be. So yeah. There's also plenty of room for new projects, innovation inside of Gemini. So if you're a beginner to a intermediate developer looking to make something really cool web-based, this would be it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for commenting, liking, and just, just being real nice guys. If you also want to go over, over and above, the Patreon link is down in the description. Thank you, everybody who supports me over there guys are awesome and i will see you in the next video peace